always like enjoyed the feeling of being able to just put sindhu <laughs> i know you did see that coming <laughs> but that is no pass for any fucking husband to go fuck whores and come back home that's not what i was saying guys so till i am able to be satisfied of that unconditional love from my partner if it's not this marriage then it has to be something else <laughs> So more than 50% of married uh, men and women admit to having feelings for other people in India. Never. Mutual funds we are subject to marriage. Marriages <laughs> are subject to. 45% of women are expected to be single and childless by 2030. <gasps> uh, Hi you guys, I'm Momo, 34 and married. Hi, I'm Koyal, uh, 31. Not married. Cheers to that. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, on that note, welcome back to another episode of The Como Show. Do you mm -hmm. want to tell them what we're talking about today? Today, we're talking about being married versus being not married. The choice. <laughs> the choice. You know? Is yours. Not what you thought. I know as some of them would be like, these guys are as sad as we are. They judge people based on their marital status. Is that what they're going to talk No, bro. No, 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 no. I want to ask Koyal and through her a lot of you why she is currently unmarried and uh, she wants to know the same thing from me and a lot of us who are currently married. So shall we start? Do yeah, you, you go first. Like, <gasps> why did you decide to get married? Like, what were your reasons? You have to fuck up once in life, bro, at least. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we are fucking up. <laughs> But no, the question, right? I, I feel like it was my calling at the time. Okay. Because I've had relationships like from quite some time, right? Like from hmm. the time I was 16 or 17, I've been into serious relationships and stuff like that. But I married at 31. And I feel like it was just the calling and the timing and the lockdown. <laughs> Ah, right? the, truth. Think, the truth. The truth. Like, I got married exactly in the second and th between the second and third lockdown, and and the wow. world just felt too lonely. Hmm. And you just all of a sudden started thinking, do it. I would always say that fuck that, you don't need a partner and all of that stuff. But then I I longed for one because at the time I didn't have anybody, hmm. and I think he just came at the right time. It's never the right guy. It's always the right time. <laughs> but you, right. but you? they also say like the right guy at the wrong time is still the wrong guy. Absolutely. So that's why I always say it's it's, it's it's never the right or the wrong guy. It's the time. It's interesting. The, right. You know, and forgotten he lucked out. He yeah, just came yeah. at the right time. Sorry, can I just like probe further? Like, yeah. what what can you give me like bullet points? Like, what about the institution was appealing enough for you to like partake in it? I guess. It was confusing. See, I think the biggest inspiration was mom and dad, of course. My right. mom and dad were right. partners. They never divorced. They never had an extramarital affair. I grew up in that kind of a family and I always kind of assumed that marriage is going to be like that, right? Mm. And the, because in today's world, I. but then after that, I saw a lot of couples like my sister got divorced, my aunt got divorced. Of course, there were apprehensions and stuff like that. But I always like enjoyed the feeling of being able to just put Sindhu. <laughs> I know you did see that coming. <laughs> Bro, Sindhu, Bhari, Bang. I can also yeah. do for you. Oh, very filmy. Every I, Tuesday, we'll be I like, Rinima, <laughs> today. <laughs> See, my core goal, Goyal, is to find unconditional love. Because mm. I mm. give out a lot of love as a partner. Right. Right? Right. right. So, till I am able to be satisfied of that unconditional love from my partner, if it's not this marriage, then it has to be something else. <laughs> I mean, so far so good. No, no fair no, enough. But don't get the wrong impression. No, fair enough. But um, but it's know. interesting how like Indian society just hyper fixates on marriage, but divorce is such a shame and a failure. Is That's, that why you are scared to get married? Ah, uh, it's definitely part of it because I personally I've been off late meeting a lot of uh, extremely young divorcees in my opinion. Right. In yeah, their like I late twenties and early thirties, and I. Uh, I can barely get over a breakup, that's just me. So I mean, the idea of publicly declaring my love for someone and hoping for that institution it's and scary. then having to endure a divorce is just too terrifying a concept to me. I I'm not going to directly answer this, but I'll tell you one more thing. Most people I know who have mm -hmm. chosen to get married, it's usually been parental pressure. Honestly, oh, the, honestly, oh, right. like, that's at the saying. core of it. They're like, you right. know, we right. are already living together. We right. already love each other. And we yeah. already have like an understanding. Right. But our parents were just like, you know what? You're aging. This, you're aging. You're Get married. You want to be young and, forever. So many of my friends told me, I told my parents, this is how much I love you, that I'm going to go do this for you. That's because it got lost in translation. I think the idea for people to get married at an earlier age back in the day was so important was because they wanted to have 
a lot of babies. It was a different world back together, but I think we got the whole, that's why it was Chinese whisper, by the time it came to Indian parents, <laughs> I think they just completely forgot the logic behind it and they yeah. said, 23, we heard you have to get married, have babies. I mean, come on, nobody's having 9 to 10 babies anymore. I don't think we should be pressurized to get married at 16 or 17. There or was such a funny or... meme on the internet. It said, your grandmothers are like, your generation is obsessed with sex. And the comparison was like 10 children. Of the course. Of course. I say there is not much difference between life and marriage. I think that's what is my kind of like belief after being married for three years. Right. Like life and marriage are both so uncertain. You don't know when you're going to die. You don't know when you're going to get a divorce. So right. it's kind of similar. So um, you don't know what life throws at you and it's the same way you don't know what husbands are going to throw at you. Uh, so you know, it enough. is definitely a gamble. Like I, me being married, right? Right. Because most times you win. Mm. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> like, I, I, I most fully... times you win. Okay, can we just like put what she said aside? Like we'll put what you said aside for one minute and just like, let's just look into this, right? Okay. If we know anything about human nature, anything that's exclusive and happens rarely is given like some kind of novelty status. Right, right? And important. It's like, exactly. Same way, think about it. If somebody is used to dal chawal every day right. and he's on a Europe tour for a month, after mm. 30 days, he's going to crave for dal chawal and come back home. You get it? But that is no pass for any fucking husband to go fuck whores and come back home. That's not what I was saying, guys. <laughs> I'm currently, I feel like, you know, what's that lady from that show that we're currently doing Indian matchmaking? What's her name? The lady, the main, the matchmaker? Seema. 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 Mm -hmm. I seem like Seema auntie right now convincing you to get married. <laughs> I know we get a lot of questions about oh but you don't look married and but you oh, look we single yeah, yeah yeah we have made a couple of things that we kind of like get a lot amongst us I think the first question of like you know I see a lot of women in today's world who are like oh we don't want this tradition where the guy gives the the, the father gives us away because we're not an object right okay great whatever whatever rocks your boat right for me I thought a little differently I loved my traditions I love Hindu traditions because I'm raised with a lot of traditions and religiously I'm religious spiritual whatever so I loved all that part but no, my name is not changed. Like I have to change it in my passport and because while traveling, otherwise people thought I was like a, his escort or something because we have like a serious age difference. So for that sake, I had to like change it in my passport. But everywhere else is just Rima Bora. I mean, I cannot do that. Why the hair? I cannot all of a sudden be called with a different last name. Recently, I had an auntie uh, come, to, come up to me at a wedding that I was at and she asked me, so what plans next? And when I told her I wasn't rushing for a job, she looked she looked at me like I was like hot garbage. And I realized the real question was when are you getting married? That you're you're at 31, you're not actively trying to get married. Now you're telling us you're not actively looking for a job. Like what is wrong with you and who let you exist? Um, Auntie, I'm so sorry you're not having sex anymore. But you know that is why maybe Coel is not getting married because she knows that your husband isn't fucking you right now. And she doesn't want to not get fucked. I just think don't <laughs> ask questions. You Which don't want to hear answer for. You don't want to hear answers to. Like yeah. if you don't want to hear the truth, don't ask. It's really simple. <laughs> just don't ask people yeah. why they're not married, when they're going to get married. Are when are they going to get pregnant? Like let's just talk about that also. Like, yeah, we should. Oh, I have, I have had that from not just aunties, from girls my age who works out with me in the gym and they come up to me and they're like, you're 34 and have been married for three years. Your husband is 48. Don't you think it's time for? But why? I'm like, Auntie G, I am not asking you why you're popping those babies back to back. Don't come and ask me when I'm popping mine out. Like, I will do it when I feel like it. You know, when I when I'm confident that this marriage is something that I can rely upon or my kid can rely upon. You know, because the last thing you want is a single parent child mm -hmm. uh, and stuff like that. So there's more to having a child. You know, if a person is not ready, maybe I I need privacy right now. Maybe I want to have more sex with my husband, wild sex all over the house. I don't know, whatever it is. I never understood the concept that every time a girl says, Finding a partner to get married is fucking difficult as fuck. Yeah. There's so many fuck boys around, so you know, yeah. that's fucking is easy. Marrying and finding that guy is quite difficult. So, also, one second, one second, pause. Um, all of our parents have dated one person in their lives them. exactly so i mean so basically my parents love telling me that i'm extremely judgmental and i'm not as open-minded as i preach the world to be and i'll tell you why it's because they have not put themselves in the same dating arena that i have exactly so your advice on this becomes irrelevant plus i am a communication designer so i have a 
practice, a professional practice in understanding image and text. So when potential proposals send me an image and some text, best believe <laughs> I'm going to be pretty hardcore. And I was telling an auntie recently, right? So some very like fun aunties were asking me if they could look for me, like they could start reaching into their networks, very Seema auntie-esque. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Why because, not? Yeah, because please you mean, do it. We do see your past. So I remember when he got me and he was like, that time we just met and we were like just becoming friends. We didn't know if we were going to like, you know, whatever was going to come, we didn't know what's going to come mm -hmm. next. So I remember I was the first person, so he always tells me that he married me because I told him, I, why are you so dumb, just get a prenup. This was an advice to Gotham to get married and then we got married and then he was like, let's do a prenup. I said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> why, why not? I'm curious. Because I told him just one thing, I will sign the prenup. You got to parallelly sign a document that any point in time during the marriage, if you have cheated on me with another partner, uh -huh. it's all nullified. Oh, that's a good... Because you don't get to marry me, <laughs> fuck me over, and then leave me wherever. I like that equality, that's Yeah, cool. a, a, a cutie. Quick facts. Quick facts, yeah. So I'll start. So more than 50% of married uh, men and women admit to having feelings for other people or have extramarital affairs in India. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like go fucking divorce. <laughs> Don't stay with somebody you're not fucking or not enjoying. Fact number two. India has the lowest divorce rate in the world. Hypocrite bitches. It says 1%. We know that why. Because in India, the stigma of divorce is so fucking serious that nobody files for a divorce and you're living in miserable marriages. Don't All do it. Get out of those. separate lives. Yeah, get out of those miserable marriages, please. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want to say one? Fact number three. Um, forty-five percent of women are expected to be single and childless by twenty thirty. <gasps> uh, this is a global poll, especially women between the ages of twenty-five to forty-four. Oh, these choices are subject to change. So are these opinions? They are subject to change in opinions. We never say never. Mutual funds. We are never. Subject to market marriages market. are subject to <laughs> change based on market risk market or whatever. But risk. we are not scared. I am not scared to make the change. And one last food for thought. There is this one thing that Quill and I wanted to ask you guys. And we are not going to tell you what we feel about it. But before we go over today, do you think marriages and divorces should be celebrated the same way? Absolutely. That's what you feel. I feel that too. Because how marriage is a celebration of somebody coming together, even divorce is a celebration of these two people having who has gathered the guts to first acknowledge that it's not going to work out between them and then decide to go on this tough journey with uncertain journey where they don't know what's going to happen with each other. So be kind. For everybody, divorced, married, single, unmarried, in a relationship but not married, whatever, right? Regardless of our marital and relationship status, please remain to be nice and judgment free. And mm -hmm. we will see you on another one for episode five. Koel and I have been loving it. I think the journey has been wonderful. Do you want to say thank you? Because they have been so fucking amazing. Yeah, In thanks. terms of feedback and in terms of response, we love you guys. And we love doing this together. So Don't like. Forget. Yes! Subscribe, share. share and comment. We love yes. you guys. See you for episode Bye. 5. Bye you guys. Get married when you want to get married. Koyal, <laughs> but you should get married last. <laughs>